See, much less arts and crafts and much more super crap. Stud finder, my new one. Oh, what are you? It just bounced all over the spot. My stud finder, my new one. Oh my goodness. Yeah, got stud, deep scan, uh, electrical, and metal. I'll show you how it works, but it needs a nine volt. I'm not pulling out of my smoke detector again. But yeah, I need that to put in my cabinets. That should be happening soon. But right now, you know my caddy wonk is like a son of a gun. And it was a temperature this morning but it's warmed up now and the old lady uh, since you know basically since we got her leg casted we haven't been out of the house so there's nobody seen her casted up or anything so I took over to her mom's to spend some time with her and I'll use that as an excuse to, uh, as an excuse to do a little bit of more work in the shed here now that we got all our shelves up but we just stopped there right and we didn't continue to actually organize so we'll do that now About two weeks ago, I sent a text to my son because I heard a bunch of gunshots after dark, and I know he'd been hunting recently. I said, hey, you know, here's somebody shooting out there in the dark. <sighs> Hope it's not you. And he basically comes back with a bunch of bullshit about, oh, it ain't none of my business. He can do what he wants because it's private property. And I'm like, I proceeded to tell him that, no, dude, you can't hunt within 30 minutes of fucking dusk or 30 minutes after dawn and um that that's the rules and that you can't do whatever you want on your own land if that was the case and you could just murder people willy-nilly and bury it. like no dude just because it's your fucking land doesn't mean you can do whatever you want and point of fact you don't have any land and you're not on your own land and so i don't even know what you're talking about and anyway needless to say like that's not the point of this conversation i uh i have heard since then within that past two weeks multiple people in different areas around me shooting after dark and i just heard it before i got in the car i just heard somebody shooting on the corner which is i'm like okay fuck faces unless you have an indoor fucking range dude but like, you can't shoot after dark like what the fuck is wrong with you fucks like <laughs> oh my god these hillbilly fucks hurt the fucking dirty 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 safe times in georgia ladies and gents safe times we have she starts driving this truck again. I was like, yeah, we gotta get that door fixed though because that whole that whole sound is annoying as hell with all that. And she's like, no, no, Bobo, fix that. Clearly. Clearly you fix that. So we got the big peaches to beaches, which sucks, you know, because I'm hand holding the camera and I got, I got the, I got the, I got the, I got the S10 because we're just going to get some diesel for a big burn. But a uh, holy fuck. Like, I'm passing the little fucks on my road. Oh, really, bud? You just gonna fucking stop? Come on. Come on! So, uh, but Peaches to Beaches is supposed to be like a fucking, you know, we talked about it before, like whatever, X hundred mile, 200 mile, whatever fucking you know, arts and crafts, but it's basically become a venue for selling garbage. And there's literally neighbors that I'll try to remember to film on the way home that literally just have, uh, like have their old used mattresses and like just a bunch of broke ass shit <laughs> sitting out in front of their fucking house with some, you know, printing paper signs taped on. Like, how you doing? How you doing? So, uh, this just seems super safe. Like, it didn't used to expand this far. It used to only be in town in the parking lots. 
but now all of a sudden they've decided to use like old abandoned houses as like a sales lot. Oh, oh no, you're good, bud. You're fucking good. Holy shite. Like what sort of fucking podunk hillbilly town do I live in? That on the main goddamn thoroughfare. <laughs> oh my God, come on now. John Deere got their big once every five year re-up. <laughs> they were down to almost nothing. But now they got the whole lot full up. They got the whole lot full up they do. Oh yeah, now come on bud, you're good. Bring it. You know, I haven't even sitting them, seen them set up. I almost wonder if they were denied from being allowed to be set up in town here. Because I'm not seeing any traffic and it doesn't look like this lot is filled up. So I bet they were denied. They didn't want to pay the permits or whatever. But yeah, usually it's this lot that's completely full, as well as the lot up here at Fred's. And I guess they didn't let them use them this year, so they didn't have any choice. Yeah, it was a way better idea when they were set up in town. Some bullshit going on over at the diesel. They set up some rag, rag tents. See, much less arts and crafts and much more super crap. Oh my goodness, they no longer sell off-road diesel. I had to get the regular, I had to get the regular stuff. I mean, I think it's not that much more expensive, but uh, still, every penny counts, right? Man, I have managed to sling diesel all over the back windshield one time. And the most recent time, I shot it all the way to the back of the truck and shot it out the fucking back of the truck. Which probably definitely would have been an environmental ticket if a cop would have seen me. So, man, even though it was a, just a little bit. Oh, that's a, that's a good looking car you got there. Holy shit, yeah, don't look where you're going around a curve. In a car like that, by no indication do you not know what you're doing. And uh, on that note, we'll quit. I mean, not quit. Just quit now. And yeah, this is not dangerous at all. This is totally a great fucking idea. This is a fucking awesome idea. This is fucking great. Pick up fucking paste buckwheat. Contrary to popular belief, speed limit is still 55. Especially when there ain't a bunch of fucktards hanging out. Holy shivity shit. That's gonna be a fun job for the sheriff. Hopefully they're doing like two hour rotations or something. All right, look, I'm gonna need you to go sit on the side of the road for 12 hours. Yeah, but no butt. Go out there and sit for 12 hours. Do you even have brake lights, fuckface, or what? There they are. I wasn't sure for a minute. Yeah, this is hardly arts and crafts and much more just like super crap. You liable to found one booth out of 20 that's actual arts and crafts. Everything else is just absolute Fucking oh here have some piss stained mattresses. Here's a broke table for your ass that I that I bought back in 1983 and used for 20 years. Oh here's a fucking half a cowboy boot. Like holy shit man. A fucking flathead screwdriver with half the fucking tip broke off. That's 25 bucks right there. Fuck fuck that. And see people throwing up yard signs left and left and right. Look I got you I got a bunch of used shit I want to sell at my house too. There's a bunch of used clothes. And a fucking, oh, you use a ladder as a fucking clothing stand. Oh, I'm a fucking goof. I supported Trump and Kemp. Come shop at my house. Go oh, fuck yourself. I'll burn it down, bitch. But this is the best. This thing we got coming up here. Little roadside fucking shanty we got. They got half a, half a twin mattress. Full on piss stain. Like a chair. And oh, it looks like they took all that shit inside. That's hilarious. I look like two dollars shit inside. Fuck, I should have filmed it. They had a bunch of fucking garbage leaned up against the Explorer. <laughs> like, no, you're good, bud. 
You're fucking good. Hilarious. But look, I think there's even one up here. I think my hippie neighbors that plant everything they can fucking grow and have cows living in their front yard. Pretty sure they got some shit for sale. Let's see here. Or did they break it all down? Nope, mate. I don't know. She still got a bunch of shit sitting out there. Oh my goodness, looks like a hoarder to me. They got a brake light on the top left and a brake light on the bottom right. What is really going on, buddy? Truth be told, it's now definitely too windy for a burn. And it's supposed to rain over the next several days. But there's no reason why we can't do a little mini burn. how long I haven't been recording but I got a bad barrel I picked a bad one well my little burn barrels are still just smoldering like a fucker I bet you they flame right up I go stir them up but quit that kind because I already showered so uh, off to town we are <laughs> man I got this I got this posture corrector you know, I see a million, ah, third grade. I see a million ads on YouTube and some of the games I play and stuff. You know, most of them you gotta watch at least five seconds or so before you can skip. And, uh, which I always do. Like, I never watch any ads, which is kind of one of the reasons I'm not even, you know, whatever. Anyway, so, uh, I see this one for like this posture corrector thing. This it looks like kind of a backpack strap that you step on, but it's kind of got like, what appears to be a stiffer back little P and how you doing some velcro straps for adjustment type height and uh I'm like oh that looks like the business so I linked to it and it's like 20 bucks or 16 bucks I'm like well that can't be worth a damn can it and so I'm like well let me look on Amazon and see what they got and so right under Prime they got one I'm like it's like 23 bucks I'm like or 21 bucks or something I'm like right on and I see there's normally nine, $99 I get this shit and I'm like, oh, I'd have been really pissed if I paid a hundred bucks for this motherfucker. But 20 bucks, like, all day long, right? So I'm kind of using it. I'm like, I don't know. I don't really see how it is. And I'm kind of, then I look at the card, like, that comes with it. It's kind of got a visual. I'm like, oh, it looks like I really got to pull these straps, like, really long. And then, boom, shoulder straight back. So it is definitely a posture corrector. <sighs> Extremely noticeable. Extremely noticeable. Like, I slouch so much, it's unbelievable. So it says go 30 minutes to an hour a day tops. It says wear it as much as feels comfortable, but no more than 30 to 60 minutes a day for like two weeks. And then you can go up in like 15 minute increments or something. I'm not sure what the increments you're supposed to go up at. I don't remember. But uh, this is the first day I've worn it really outside the house for just a second or two. Especially, it's definitely the first time I've worn it since I realized how tight you're supposed to pull it to really pull your shoulders back. And I feel all sorts of a difference through my neck and my fucking shoulder. It's almost like I'm going to feel like I worked out after wearing this thing. But if I can develop some muscle memory and start fucking sitting up and standing up straight, that'd be great. Because I don't want to, but want to be, I don't want, <laughs> I do not want to be one of these old fucks who, uh, you know what I mean? Like they're bent over like a son of a bitch. Oh, nice brights, fucker. 
So yeah, I don't want to want to be. Why can't I say that? I don't want to be one of these old fuckers. You know, you see them, but they're with a can, and they're just they got a they got a C from ass to neck. It's like their back is forming a C. I don't want to be that one. So this is on. It's on me right now, and it's like it is. It's pulling me right back into this fucking C. But it is almost too, too tight. It is it's just because I'm so I've been slouching for 20 years or more. So sad. Okay, well thank you so much for joining me today here on Mutton Chop Channel and uh, you know, join me next time where I probably don't do a damn thing and break some stuff and screw some stuff other stuff and hurt myself and stuff and stuff. And bye stuff! <laughs>